Okay, return to the uh, countdown to Halo Infinite. This is part of the Halo 3 ODST thing. It's about trying to get back to your team members and uh, just investigate what happened once you were blacked out. Yes. Also, these moments do tell flow us straight into the uh, campaign Ms. missions, Naval intelligence. which are kind of like new flashbacks, mm. so check your mouth, but from the points of view of all the other characters. So this checked. is going to be Buck, Nathan Fillion's character, I'm pretty certain. And there's the Xbox Series X with its loading times. Pretty quick. Yeah, here we go, book. Yes, so I do have more serious Halo 3 ODST playthrough where I'm not talking through cinematics and stuff like that. Uh, this rundown to Halo Infinite that I'm doing is just uh, just just playing Halo and chill. And it's just uh, giving my thoughts and opinions. What's your status? Are you still with me, Buck? Yeah. Give me a sec. I hope not. My heart's not open. How about yours? Ah, works great. Right. When you get done feeling around, I could use some help. Uh, did I do something wrong? Because the only thing I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. I would have been a lot less charming. That's what I missed most about you, Buck. Well, your mouth was always a little faster than your brain. Look, don't start about my job. We both agree to end it. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on it. Uh, details. Must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? First, you're the best soldier I know, and second, I don't remember that night. Would you ask me in the morning? I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. <laughs> I said stay put. I'm on my way. Okay, bit of tension. Mr. Elvie, this grid is packed with Covenant. Be careful. I appreciate the concern. Now, Buck and the other ODST members, they do have that visor thing, but it's really all useful for nighttime because, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it's pretty bright. Right, so. It's one of you down. You might see me accidentally hit buttons like that every now and then, just because I. Uh, I'm used to the reloads. They change up the reloads a lot in the games, so I think for Halo 1 and 2 on the original Xbox, it was uh, the X button. This time around, it's the right bumper because of... Uh, probably they changed the reload uh, button because the popularity of... Uh, there, I did it again, you see? It's probably Gears of War. Guess what had the active reload, didn't it? There we go, the brute plasma pistol. Plasma rifle, shall I say. It's back in the action. That's a spiker right there. Now, I'm not going to use an. ODST, I'm going to use it in Halo 3 though. Because you can actually uh, dual wield it in oh, um, Halo 3 standard. Pretty sure the my grenade set off the uh, spiker grenade that that brute had. Your pod hit. You're one lucky SOB. Yeah. See any more come down? Ah, negative. But I didn't see much of anything after that flash. Uh, but listen, some of these buildings are open. Should be able to get inside. 
Flank the Covenant on the streets. Roger that. Thanks. Good to know. But there's probably going to be... Oh yeah, all the elites the are dead as here? well. Final notice. It's part Bill of that uh, betrayal slash changing of the guard. It's a piece of equipment right there. That was something that was new to Halo 3. I mean, the second game had like hijacking and uh, hijacking and dual wielding. This game, or just Halo 3 in general, they were like, we need to have something else. So, that came in the place of dismantable turrets and equipment, which that brute just did right then. He shouldn't have gone my way then, should he? But he did. That won't stop. I'm sick into the default controls as well, so I'm not like messing around with the controls for each game. I'm just sticking to the original control schemes. And uh, again, as I said, I might be hitting the wrong button a few times for the, the uh, reload. I keep hitting the uh, that button. I think he's kind of glitched out a little bit, if I'm honest. Not too much. <laughs> that was nice. He actually dropped his own spiker grenade and just killed himself. Yeah, I think it's more of like a last ditch, ditch effort in this one that they uh, actually um, will uh, berserk. And the Berserk is nowhere near as dangerous as it was in Halo, uh, Halo 2. I wonder if they'll be very dangerous berserking in Halo um, Infinite. But yeah, there's all these dead elites. Veronica, what's with all the dead elites? What do you mean? Looks like a family feud, like they were killed by brutes. Is there something I should know? It's classified. Yeah, some things never change. That's the Mola? Yeah, the Mauler. I'm not going to be using it. Again, I only use it in Halo 3, pretty much. Got a little jackal problem. An overcharged plasma pistol shot will neutralize their shields. Yes. Also take down a or just use a plasma oh, yeah? cannon. Where were you a minute ago? Still trapped inside my pod. Yes. That is true. So, the brutes, instead of being bullet sponges, they kind of become elites, the, the 2.0 elites. So, they do have, like, power armor that will. I guess they're kind of worse than elites, in a sense, because elites, they had shields, which just re they recharge. But. I kind of miss the, uh, the radar that Chief has, you know? Is there a guy up here? Not sure. Oh, there he was. He was right there the entire time. Hello? You're dead. I'm actually going to use the carbine. Get off. Come on. Fall damage. Yes, I recall. Yeah, the elite's uh, shields will recharge a uh, uh, charged plasma shot. So, like, the brutes can be affected by the noob combo. But, yeah, they die. Th their armor just disintegrates. They don't have any recharging shields. So, they kind of are a worse version of the elites. And there's quite a few of them. Hit the wrong buttons again. 
Jackal snipers, I hate them. That still works. I have to be careful because you're not as tough as Master Chief. That was an amazing grenade though, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, so once their power armor bursts off them, they're done for. Just get them with a headshot and then they're done. Buck, location. Almost there. What's wrong? Multiple hostiles closing on my position. Listen carefully. If I don't make it. You'll make it. Whoa, don't worry. On. I'll be right there. Too late. They spotted me. Damn it, no! Veronica! Talk to me! Don't move! Ah, oh, I got you though, didn't I? Oh. I'm surprised they haven't thrown a grenade at me yet. <laughs> I'm having some hor horrifying throws with the grenades. Like, really, really bad throws. I wonder if I can, uh... Hunters? No, I do not have time for this! Turn around, you bastards. Let me shoot you in the back. Oh! I'm pretty sure... Oh, I actually got one. Nice. I'm pretty sure the blue one has the, the beam. That guy using gold has a fuel rod cannon. Pretty sure that's how this goes. Get down here. Can you drop down? <gasps> oh, I didn't realize. Actually, it was in the spiker. That's called one tough grunt who just won't go down. They can be a little bit easy at times. Again, new combo works out on them. Pretty sure there was some more pistol ammo up here. No, it's a shotgun as well. I do like myself a shotgun. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just shotgun it up a bit. No, yes, as you can see, six rounds, not twelve. <laughs> 12 is a bit too much, you know? Oh yeah, and I still have legs, I forgot to mention that. Sign of every great first person shooter. Doom Eternal's, a, a, you know, Doom Eternal and Doom 2016 are exceptions. They are like the best games of those years in which they came out of. But I like the added touch of like, legs. Down straight, you're under attack. Are you gonna say, oh no? I think this is the end of the mission, actually, isn't it? Yeah. I'm here. I got gotcha. you. Oh no. Kill it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Nice one, Romeo. <sighs> what 
the heck was that? You ever seen one before? Hey, what was Romeo. it? Was an engineer? You got your ears I on? think they were supposed to be in the original Halo. Oh, I get it. Permission to speak, smartass. No, I don't know what it was, but it was gonna grease your ass good, just like it did the captain. Where's the yeah, body? Maybe. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. The rookie. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hid. So we're popping smoke in the lady's mission? Did she ever tell you what she wanted? No. Never. Doesn't matter. All I care about now is getting my men out of this city. Even you. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that book will achieve his mission. Now there's going to be a little cinematic to end off our little gameplay jaunt. Ah, I'll leave that until the next one actually. I was going to talk about her helmet then. But, checkpoint done, and pretty sure there's going to be Covenant coming up this uh, building to come get me. But we can go and find the next place, which is 600 meters in that away. We'll do that next time. Alright, well that's enough for now. If you did like, um, please do like the video and subscribe. I'll have more Halo stuff to come. Bye!